Water, air, energy and land are shared environmental resources in the Middle East. As the conflict between Palestinians and Israelis persists, cross-border environmental problems will continue to plague the region and significantly increase tension. Only through cross-border cooperation can we manage our shared resources sustainably. To do this, first we must learn to trust each other. Some people might say that water is the scarcest resource in the Middle East, but the truth is that the scarcest resource here is trust. The problems are growing, the problems are increasing because we do not trust each other. We do not know each other. And the Arava Institute allows or helps these students to know each other first, then to build the, the trust. Located on Kibbutz Keturah in southern Israel, the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies is an academic and research center. Its mission is to advance cross-border environmental cooperation in the face of political conflict. The Arava Institute brings together Israelis, Palestinians, Jordanians, international students through our cross-border academic programs, research centers, alumni initiatives, uh, conferences and internships. We work together to tackle issues in the Middle East such as climate change, water scarcity, sustainable agriculture and renewable energy. It actually uses the environment as the glue or the foundation that people can discuss in order to um, overcome whatever is happening in the Middle East and to, to, to bring them together. Over the years, approximately a thousand alumni from Israel, Jordan, Palestine and around the world have studied, interned and lived together while engaging in one of the most open, honest, and difficult dialogues about the future of the Middle East. Our students go on to engage in solving some of the most pressing environmental and social challenges of the region. Nature does not know any border, and therefore cooperation is essential when we talk about environmental issues. And we should in somehow, I know it's very difficult to overcome our political dispute, so in order to try to solve the environmental problems. And I think at the end, uh, that's what's really connects us all as human beings. We're part of nature, and nature is part of us. So that's why we should cooperate relentlessly trying to solve the environmental problems. We can go from being a baby to an old man without never having the chance to be exposed to something different. And the Arava Institute is breaking that cycle. It's, it's offering a window to the MENA region. It's offering a window to our other, to our neighbor. And without those initiatives, there is no future for the region. To me, the Arava Institute is a beacon of hope in the future of the Middle East. Uh, when I sit with our students and I sort of take a step back and look around at the group, I often find myself with goosebumps just at the, how amazing it is what we're doing and that so few places are bringing people together to build community and to say that there's another way, that there can be a peaceful solution here.